Hi everyone, my name is Jamie McLean and this is my Module 3 video blog on Integration and Counseling for COUC 500. Chapter 4 discusses the different types of Christian counselors. After reading the chapter and looking at myself as a professional, I believe that I mostly align with being a professional counselor with a Christian worldview. According to Simmons, Lilly, and Cooley, 2019, in order to be a professional counselor with a Christian worldview, you need to interact with your clients while displaying integrity. I think this is such an important value to remind ourselves of because you always want to live your life and professional life with honesty and your moral code in check. In order to not create issues between my faith and professional counselor existence, I need to remember that we are not all the same. Just because something is against what I believe does not make it wrong. Every background and religion teaches a different way and operates on a different scope and some may not completely align with the Christian worldview. And this is okay. As of right now, my future plans are to work with military members, their families, or in the juvenile justice system. In these two completely different paths, I will come across individuals who may not have faith in a God. Reminding myself daily that I am still there to help them and work towards a healing path is the ultimate goal, whether it's faith-based or not. When it comes to the integration model, I believe that I most closely align my thinking with that of the intermediate models of disciplinary relationships, specifically aligning with the spies. In the book, spies are when a person of Christian faith may integrate some counselor practices into their interactions and counselors might adapt some faith-based teachings into their counseling practice. I align the most with this because while I believe the word of God to be true, not everyone I am interacting with as a client might. Depending on the individual client is where the most prominent integration of faith would come into your counseling practice. When it comes to the ACA, section A.6b relates to me as a professional counselor because it is a great reminder that while it's okay to leave your own beliefs and be strong in your faith, you need to remember to separate that from your clients. Imposing your beliefs could cause unnecessary harm to your clients on a regular basis. Continuously reading updates on the ACA Code of Ethics and working with your peers will help to maintain a healthy balance in your career. Have a good night.